Let's bring in Robert F. Kennedy Jr. right now. Uh, thank you very much, Bobby, for joining us. It's good to have you. Chris, great to be back with you. I want to uh, get through some big points so we can get to the people's questions for you. Uh, look, the knock on Shanahan is easy, that she's not ready to be VP. You're young. Uh, we don't have, the, there are no questions like with Trump and Biden in terms of, well, what happens if Bobby gets sick? Um, how do you respond to the idea that uh, Shanahan checks a lot of boxes, but none that would make her able to run the country? I would say a couple things, Chris. One is that I'm guessing she probably has a higher IQ than almost anybody who I've seen in public life today. She's an expert on AI, which we need in the government right now. She's an expert on chronic disease, which is probably arguably our biggest issue in this country. We've gone from 6% of people having chronic disease when my uncle was president to 60% today. We've got an entire generation disabled by neurological injuries, autoimmune injuries, allergic injuries. Um, and we have nobody talking about it. We're paying more now, Chris, for diabetes than for our defense budget. So mm -hmm. when I was a kid, um, a typical pediatrician would see one case of juvenile diabetes in his lifetime. Today, one out of every three kids who walks into his office has juvenile diabetes. Agreed. And nobody's talking about it. Nobody is talking about it. And it is costing us $4.3 trillion a year, three times our defense budget. What, you know, the, every people said to me, well, you should have brought an insider in as VP. No. The insider is the one who gave us the chronic disease epidemic. They gave us the $34 trillion debt. President Bush, President Biden and President Trump, during their short times in office, a single term each together, drove up a, a larger debt than every president since George Washington combined. So the, and the Congress let them do it. So it's not somebody inside who's going to solve the problem. They're the ones who gave us the problem. We need somebody who can think about it in a different way. Accepted uh, with a comma that, you know, the, the pandemic uh, boosted a lot of the spending needs. Uh, but that said, I look forward to having Shanahan well, on. It's an open but invitation. They didn't need, but, but, but they didn't need to do that. I mean, President Trump came in and said, I'm going to run the country like a business. And then... He shut down 3.3 million businesses. What businessman would do that? He handed the keys to every one of our businesses in this country but, to but Bobby, Anthony Fauci. But Bobby, and oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure this is yeah. going to go viral because I'm about to defend Trump. When everybody <laughs> comes to you, if it's President Kennedy, and says, we need to do this right now. This is not going to last a week or two weeks. Uh, this is a real problem. We're going to be overwhelmed. There's only one place that makes the swabs that we need. Uh, that's what pushed Trump into that situation. And then you had the businesses closed. You had all these people out of work. You had all these other problems. They started spending money. Biden continued to spend the money. Here, Trump wanted to spend thing, even Chris, more. You got to give him a little bit of a break on that. The pandemic was a problem. Here's, here's the thing, Chris. If I were president, that would have never happened. Never, ever. When my uncle was president, when John Kennedy was president, he was, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, when the whole world was on the edge of a nuclear war, he had 11 of the 13 top advisors, what they call the XCOM committee, telling him he needed to invade Cuba. If he had gone ahead and done that, it would have been the end of the world. We now know. So, and he said, no, I, he researched the issue himself. He said, show me the aerial photos. He asked the CIA, what is Khrushchev going to do? Isn't it going to make, if we go in and kill his gun crews in Cuba, isn't he going to have to come into Germany and isn't that going to end up in a nuclear war? He asked the questions. He went granular. He did the details and he figured out a different solution. And we need that kind of president today and we needed it during the pandemic. And unfortunately, we got two presidents who made a series of bad choices, drove up a, a $16 trillion in costs, destroyed an entire generation of kids and their learning, did things that nobody in their right mind would have done during a pandemic that violated every pandemic protocol that we've developed over 50 years. You do not shut down a country for a respiratory illness because everybody knows it's going to go through anyway, and it was an illness that spread indoors not outdoors, and we knew that from the beginning. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, 
and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.